Apple is reportedly closing about 20 of its retail stores across the United States due to the surge of COVID-19 cases throughout the country. On Monday, the company said that retail locations would temporarily shut their doors for several reasons related to the spread of the Omicron variant, according to the New York Times. CNBC reported that 11 of the retail stores impacted by the closures are located in New York. It's not clear how long the locations will be closed to in-person customers. While some storefronts were closed due to a staffing shortage, others were shut down as a precautionary measure to avoid spreading the virus, a spokesperson for Apple told The Times. We regularly monitor conditions, and we will adjust our health measures to support the well-being of customers and employees, spokesperson Amy Bassett said. Bassett did not immediately respond to people's requests for comment. The store closures come as the Omicron variant rapidly spreads across the U.S. and the world. Over the weekend, Dr. Anthony Fauci warned that COVID-19 cases will continue to surge following the holidays. The nation's leading infectious disease expert, 81, said Sunday on ABC's This Week that the United States averaged around 150,000 cases of the virus over the last seven days, and that it likely will go much higher in the coming weeks as the Omicron variant continues spreading rapidly. Well. Cherry's one thing that's for sure that we all agree upon, that it is extraordinarily contagious, Fauci told this week co-anchor Jonathan Carl. He added, we're particularly worried about those who are in that unvaccinated class, that, you know, tens and tens of millions of Americans who are eligible for vaccination who have not been vaccinated. Those are the most vulnerable ones when you have a virus that is extraordinarily effective in getting to people and infecting them the way Omicron is. Health officials have been scrambling to learn more about the new variant since it was first spotted in South Africa. The strain is the most contagious yet, has more mutations than any before it and seems to evade the previously effective two-dose vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna. According to the CDC, data from South Africa and the UK shows that two doses of the mRNA vaccine are approximately 35% effective against the Omicron variant. A booster shot elevates effectiveness to 75%.